Respect, respect my brothers. Motivo. Respect, respect my sister. And I hope uh, we are free to mix the languages. I mean, eh, virtually everybody here understands Yoruba and English. Thank you. God bless you. It's an organization that deals with the family. Now, what we do at Family for Time Niger Project is to look at the family as the nucleus of the society which the family is. Respect, respect my brother. If you think you have a responsible family and you are not bothered, you are just deceiving yourself. Nobody does not affect you. Because ultimately, these things are going around already. And that is why we decided that we should write education, we should discuss this. Ordinarily, we are going out now and we see a corpse on the road, a dead body. You, don't, you may not even know the dead body but as a human, somewhere you are touched. So how much more do you want that you know? But from as a way of my success with the life, you will be able to die. From as a way of the Lord, you will be able to die. So it, is, it simply goes back to say that there is nothing that happens anywhere in the world without the family doing the work. We are not training anybody. We are only giving an idea of Uncha Ambo and Uncha Ani and now think that from your own end too, you can look at it from the corrections. Oh, respect, respect my sisters again. Respect, respect my parents. Smoking. Respect, respect to the elders again. The moment you assume your wife is okay, that means you have a perfect wife. If you assume your husband is okay, it means you have a perfect husband. So if both agree, that means they have a perfect home. So it is not true that there is no perfect home. There are values that we have lost. Things you don't care about those who don't have, they are only deceiving yourselves. Because as a matter of fact, in a short time it will come around you. So what can we do to make to keep our home stable and support those who are not stable? Again, the rate of divorce in society now is very high. It's so alarming that you begin to ask yourself what is happening. We now see marriages of in fact six months, three months. You know, getting dismissed. And if you go there, you find out that there are marriages that they have spent hundreds of millions of naira. So what they are actually 40,000, actually 90,000. You know, probably King Sonia, they came and played, but she played, and everybody are dead. Down the line in three months, in six months, the thing is off. Yeah. Because we have done marriages now, we have done wounds to ceremony. To us, it's a ceremony. And normally, you know, when we are planning, Marriages, you will notice that we spend more time on the material things of that marriage than the marriage itself. A conversation between a lady that is 19 years old and a lady that is 23 years old. Somehow the 23 years old lady is not disrespectful. But the one who is 19, yes, is, is disrespectful. So she is telling down that we are paying at your age. You don't understand, so you mean you are not describing that 23? So to her, she actually came up to tell the lady that she's been describing from 15. And to her, it is a pride. She did not see anything that is wrong with it. Yes, again, you see people discuss openly and say a man's private part is very small. Yes, but then we ask them, did God create a woman's private part to be big? Supposed to be a wall, this penetrable. Supposed to be a wall, this penetrable. Until you are ready to populate, I mean, we as couples. So there are values that we have lost. So there are values that we have lost. I want to tell the team for me, we no power get to eat at our own. Because we have drugs now that can suppress HIV AIDS, you know, and so like that, all the world. We no longer know we, how many people even still do the tests. So we feel it, it doesn't count. Then you see people sleep around indiscriminately. They sleep around unprotected. 
So, and these are things that come back to the home somewhere, somehow. Some women don't even have wounds today. It may not be their fault. Some it is their sexual activities. Then we have teenage teenagers now more involved in crimes than even adults. And the truth is, every criminal comes from one family. Unfortunately, this is the most neglected part of the society. And that is where we are having issues. Recently, we heard of a 12 year old boy in Nanyamda State who slaughtered a 78-year-old man. And yes, he didn't beat him, he slaughtered him. So you can ask yourself how it happens. You will find boys who are less than 25 or 20 now cruising around in cars that are worth millions of naira for people by deceiving them. Now they obtain it by shedding blood. They kill people. Unfortunately, now the society thinks they go cool. But the truth is, I'm going to I'm going to go to my They will kill people around. I'm going to jail They don't plan to rob their own family. They rob other people. Those who are caught, they don't kill their family members. They kill other people. They kill other people. family fun time with our partner we call it go for you go for you is a female based organization is a female gender organization and we look at the women we look at the girl child unfortunately in go for you we don't believe that the woman is weak we try to categorize what we do into relationship we try to go into parenting we try to go into coupling then we go into family economy basically right now what we have on our main table is COVID-19 and its variants, as well as HIV AIDS. So now again, we are interested in getting across to you what we feel and to know what you feel. Unfortunately, the two religions do not dwell on family core issues because of certain things. Very few men of God, both either Islam or Christian, now touch the nitty gritty. You either find a reverend or imam talking about sex, you know, and that's the call, that's the real, not maybe all these things begins to come. And these are things they shy away from. Of course, unfortunately, in Nigeria, you answer our name as men. We don't answer your names. We have divorce cases like we have said. Some are reconcilable. Some has defied all reconciliability. But there is one issue, Tawarango, again, is another area that deep in you, where you are divorced and you have a child or you have children in your divorce. We insist that that divorce should not affect those children. The children are not responsible for why the two of you have chosen to go apart. No, you are not weak. We have seen women that are professors, we have seen women that are doctors, we have seen women that are lawyers. You, you, there is nothing. Virtually a man has done that a woman has not done. You've seen the aminas of the world who are warriors, Abi, and so forth like that. So you don't sit in a position and say, I'm weak. That is what go for you, also preachers. And then we also say, when you come to home, don't try to equalize yourself. Go for equity, don't go for equality. You can never be equal to a man. Don't try to equalize yourself. Go for equity, don't go for equality. You can never be equal to a man. It is neither Christianic, Islamic, or traditional. So the truth is you can only ask for your rights. You have a right, you have a privilege. But you don't begin to say, of course, unfortunately, in Nigeria, you answer our name as men. We don't answer your names. So I don't know whether they do it in Kutura uh, Bidding or other places, but this is our own environment. And at the fair, we plant see and more people here. See the uh, way to that little It's an independent body and the no public making organization. We get our phones from people who look at us and say, ah, like we will not share, who makes sense, give it to them. Then they support us in their own way. And um, this is how we do. So what we call you that at the end of this, we will still talk about it, go to our TV. We will see some things you can learn from there. It's in a TV.
then you can see we are also into we have more events. We we do the MC programs, we air your programs live. So people who are married, and we don't teach events or Fredo Pare, we can put it on our TV for you. And as much as the internet is bashing you are to replay there. But you keep your CD, you keep your DVD, from the past of time, from the car, you are still. So somebody says when you buy your DVD, after some time, the DVD will tell you where to watch and where you cannot watch. That's the truth. So but once it's on the internet, it will remain there forever. So that is without your experience.